Hi guys, welcome to our channel. This is My Sky Watch 2. Uh, Robin and Daryl, we're getting ready to open up another jewelry jar. If you see anything in this jar that you'd like, please email me at this address and give me the refer the date, which is 331, and what part it's in, and the, I, the description of the item. And, um... <laughs> well. Anyway, that's what that's how we get the uh, the thing started. If there's something that you want, uh, you have to email me at this address, and I'll send you a price. And then you'll tell me if you want it or not. And if you want it, uh, I'll also tell you to give me your PayPal. We only ship domestically, and you'll need to give me your PayPal um, email address so that I can invoice you. So with that said, shipping is normally three fifty per three fifty for the first item and fifty cents after that for each additional item. It does max out if you order so much that it can fit into a flat rate box and it's cheaper that way. We'll go that way. So, with that being said, let's get started. Let's do the the uh, jewelry jar roll. This one is seven pounds two ounces. I'm trying to get in the picture, honey. All right. I've got a new little sound effects, friend, that you'll hear occasionally tonight that I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So when she starts fussing at me, I'll give you a new sound effect. I hope that thing's got fresh batteries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We'll see. Okay, let's get going. See right there, buddy. You're going to get a lot of action. I got the feeling. Oh, and why we wait, there's a couple of items that were missed on the last jar. You can just refer this jar. This little charm here. It's a little bear, and it says, um, Me to you. There's the little bear, a little present. Yeah, let's see if we can get this camera focusing tonight. And it's on a little tab. Then there was a stick pen. I don't know if we showed that or not. The praying hands. There's the back. It's very pretty. It's in good shape. Again, here's the front. And the next one is this little choker, velvet choker necklace with this little, um, let me see. Yeah, it's cool. This little heart, little red heart. Very cute. So, let me put this in a, okay, I got to bag some stuff, so I need to. Uh, cut off the camera. Coming up. Okay, folks, we're back on. And the first thing I have is this necklace here, which is very beautiful. Let's see if I can keep it untangled. It's got this little heart tag. Diva. It is a lobster claw clasp. And the lobster claw, it looks copperish now. The finish has come off. The rest of the necklace is in perfect condition. You have these beautiful beads and chains, curved chains. They're in a gold tone. They match the uh, gold of the chains. And then it comes down to this piece and your tassels, or, yeah, more like tassels. Very pretty piece. Very nice combination. The next necklace we have, 
Okay, the next piece we have are these beads right here. And it's an infinity beads necklace. They're very pretty. They're a um, they're not black. They're more of a dark, deep brown color. And they really feel nice, too. And they're not wood. So I guess they're acrylic. But they're a rich chocolate brown color. Ooh, this is pretty. Mm-hmm. Have a little bit of bling on here. Purple stone, I think. Oh, yeah. And it's prong set. Trying to see if I see any marks on this, but I don't. The double chain. Let's see if I can get it going right here. Oh, we have a maker's up here. This is Express. It's a lobster claw clasp. It's got a little wear on the clasp. The chains are in good shape. You have curve links. And it's double chained. Well, sorry about that, guys. And it's got this pendant. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Let me see what I can do here. Nope. It's got dark colors mixed on it. No, I need that piece of paper. I need a little flashlight and I need a piece of paper, honey. Okay. A clean one. Yes, dear. And that tiny little flashlight. Oh, I know you are. Thank you. Uh -huh. See, I can show you all the color better by doing this. There, you can see it. Oh, it's a very beautiful purple stone. Gorgeous. Wide open in the back so that the light can get through to it. So, yeah, that's beautiful. And that works out real well. Try not to shine it in your eye, honey. Sorry, you've already blinded me by your light, so I'm good. <laughs> Here is a headband. This beautiful shell and rhinestone. And I guess that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. It's even tagged. It is... Pink Party. That's what it's tagged. Jewelry for your hair. Here's the back. It's felted. It's in good shape. Very pretty. Not worn at all. That's beautiful. Okay. What's next? This is a copper finished lobster claw and the extender has a little bead that matches the necklace, the beads in the necklace. And then you've got triple strands on both sides of beautiful beads in glass and I believe in acrylic or wood, that one's wood. They all 
feel cold. I don't know. I think they're all glass beads. And these beautiful shades of pink. Rosy color, powder pink. That's why I was doing that. Oh, I hate when I'm I'm all thumbs tonight. Okay, I got it untangled. It looks very pretty. Nice layering. the necklaces thank you you're welcome okay the next one we have is dream surrounded by this pretty framed and rhinestone piece here Here's the back. It's a Figaro chain. It has an extender. Here's the bead, SM. It's an artisan piece. There's the extender. Lobster claw clasp. Also, you have this also going down. Is that little charm there, little bead? That's very pretty. Sweet dreams. Okay, thank you. Next piece is on a snake chain. It's gold tone. It has a lobster claw clasp. Here's the back. Here we go. Now it's focusing. Here's the chain. It's antique. From being well loved. Peace. And here's your little pendant. It's a cat's eye and redstone down here. Here's the back, and it's more silver tone. So, it doesn't really, but the bell is the color of the chain. The next one is another snake chain. This one's in gun metal. And you have a little pearl, cat's eye piece in this one. Here's the snake chain. It is marked Express. And it's got a lobster claw clasp and has an extender. Very nice piece. Minimalist. But would look very pretty around the neck. This piece here, it's like a flat coin piece. It's not a coin, but shaped that way. Double snake chain, lobster claw clasp, nice endings on this. That's magnetic, and the chain is magnetic. Next is a two-tone, gun metal and silver, geometric design, multiple um, twisted rope chains on this. You've got a lobster claw clasp, an extender with the bead, 
extenders hat like that. And then your multi chains, you have three chains on each side, rope chains. Very pretty piece. Next one we have is a toggle clasp. Looks silver, so I'm going to see if there's any markings on it. I don't see any right off the bat. It's not magnetic at all. It's got little marcasite, uh, not marcasite, hematite and pearl and clear bead here. I don't know if that's a quartz. Let's see if I can tell if it's cold. Yeah, I feel a little coolness. Some little station end caps on the beads. Get you a closer look here. Hematite, pearl, there's your clear bead. You got several pearl, hematite again. This necklace would also look pretty with a pendant on it. Mm -hmm. The right pendant. Or worn by itself. Here's another, another toggle clasp. Very interesting this one is. Got five black faceted stones here. I mean, four. One on each corner. And you have your beads up here around the neck. And then you have that a wire. And then stations of red and black beads. And they feel cold. Is there something sticky on here? Oh, yes, there's something right here that's pulling things up. It's not magnetic. Oh, yes, it is. Very good. Sometimes that's that one's better to use. Okay. On some things. I know. This is cute. Little Scotty dog. White enamel. Here's the back. Very pretty little lobster claw clasp. The chain is in excellent condition. Don't see any markers or baker's mark. Oh, yeah, it's very magnetic. <laughs> Yeah, eh. <laughs> we have a gunmetal palmetto tree. It's not magnetic. It's pretty. I'm looking for some marks. And I'm not seeing any. This is the way it clasps. Let's look on this. No, I don't see anything there. Look here. Sometimes you really have to look good or you'll miss it. Ooh. I don't see anything. So, I'm going to give it a little scratch test here. Oh, yeah, that's very silver. Oh, yeah. So, and I don't know if this is 
tar I think this is tarnished and not gunmetal. The more it's I look awful, at it. It's awful shiny tarnish. I don't know, honey. When you look at it under this thing here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm going to uh, test it right now. Okay. Doctor, take me a uh, drink of yeah. Okay, we're going to test this. I'm going to use the uh, silver tester this time. So I'll need this little Q-tip here. Ooh, it went away right away. Oh, look at there. Yes, that is silver. Thank you. And that is, it's tarnished. Okay. I think it's a dark silver, but it's still... Mm -hmm. Thumb got pretty dirty there. Just one rub. this off. Of course not. I'm not using the right thing anyway. What you need, I had a towel up here, that white towel. Paper towel. Or no. no, you know what it was. Oh, I'll use this. We'll do a little polishing here with the polishing cloth. Okay, I did a little polishing on it. It's much shinier. And it's a little lighter, but it's still it's still got like a dark it's a dark silver. But it definitely is silver. So that was that. Let me bag it. Yes, and we'll put it over in the top shelf over there. Top shelf, yes ma'am. And I will get this stuff out of the way. So we don't get any junk on us. <laughs> His new toy. I hide it from the grandkids. Yes, they love it. Every one of them that comes over wants to take it home with them. Yeah, no, can't take Papa's toy. And that's Papa's toy. <laughs> I'm easily amused. <laughs> <laughs> now you know where they got that laugh from. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm using this. It makes a great Q-tip holder. So I just thought I'd mention that. Okay. All right. I've got a wire necklace here. Uh, silver tone lobster claw class. It is um, worn, and so is the chain. And I'm going to put this in a bag because these are beautiful. Wait a minute, I'll show these stones. Okay. Look at this one. Look, look at that. Looks like a cat's eye. Okay. And these are glass. Beautiful glass beads here. Just stunning. Oh, more. Cat's eye or tiger eye. Almost looks like tiger eye. Nice beads. But we're going to put this in a bag to put in the craft jar. I got it. I think. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. This is a J. Crew lobster claw extender with the bead. Nice Rollo chain. Very antique silver brass look. I mean, antique gold look. Pretty tassel. The cap on this tassel has little rhinestones all the way around. We can get rid of that. Oh, bones here. Yes. Awesome. 
always a big selling point. And none of the stones are missing. It's a very pretty necklace. It's a good size. Here's a beautiful pearl, mother pearl faced watch with snowflake design and AB rhinestones in here. That's Aurora Borealis. Here's a fold over clasp. I'm looking to see if there's any. I didn't see any marks, nope, but that, no mean, marks. that doesn't mean a lot. It's a pretty watch. Yes, it does mean. It uh -huh. means everything. It's made in China. Ooh. It's big. And I don't know how you shorten it except to take these off and just have the clasp come like this. See if it were like that would fit me okay. But it's fairly big. I have a medium sized wrist. But I love the stones in it and the snowflake design. I love the mother pearl face on it. And the numbers, easy to read. Needs a battery. This right here, let's see. Oh, there it is. Has a um, gunmetal colored lobster claw clasp. It's a premier design. There we go. And, uh, this is <laughs> It's got black beads and silver beads. They are cold. I think that's the beads that are cold. Oh yeah. Well the metal ones are anyway. Very pretty. It's got your peacock kind of colored bead there when it changes sides. Very, very, very long. I would say it is 72 inches long and very pretty. And I'm going to get them a close up of the beads. And I'm going to get a bigger bag. Oh no, they're not that big. Oh yeah, they'll fit in that yeah. bag. Good. <laughs> Here's a cord necklace with some circles. Now let's look at this cord necklace. It says Thailand. It says 925, which I thought it was going to be 925. Yeah, Thailand. And it's got the Sepalda, Sepata, Sepata design on it. I can't talk tonight, I'm sorry. And there's your 925. So this is probably silver here. But we're gonna see. Yep, nothing's magnetic. Could be clean, be cleaned up a little bit. Let's see if there's anything on these. Give it a scratch. Oh, I know it's silver, okay. honey. But I'll give it a scratch. A rub. A rub, yeah. Okie dokie. Silver. Yep. So we have our first Sopata piece. You were worried that I wouldn't get that out this time, weren't you? <laughs> you should have seen your little eyes crinkle and look at me like, oh, is she going to say it wrong? Nope. And yeah, sometimes I do, over and over and over. That's a unique closure right there. Yeah. <laughs> We all know what that is. That's got to be a guy's necklace. No. <laughs> no. I don't know. Yeah, not the red beads. No. No, no. no. Yeah, we're going to put this in the uh, craft lot. Yes, we will. It's very boho, whatever. 
This is pretty. You got Pave Set CZs, and they are. Are they all there? Yes, sure. they're all there. It's a Leah Sophia. There, you can see it better. It washes out the the. It's more. Yeah, it's more that color. Anyway, lobster claw clasp with an extender bead. Great shape. Nice little bracelet. The next necklace we have is a an express. It's got a chain this long in the back. You can adjust it. It's on these nice silky ribbons. And it comes down to these simple chains. Rollo chains at the bottom. It's brass in color. The next one is this necklace. I'm looking to see if I see any marks. It's on a cord. You have metal beads here, and I'm not sure what these other beads are. I don't know. I think they feel like wood, painted wood to me. It's a nice necklace. Very simple. Casual. We have this little necklace with blue beads and the sword. piece. Blue beads. It's a, it's a bracelet. I mean, a bracelet with blue beads and the peace sign. Little tubular beads on there. Next one is it's an infinity. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was trying to figure out it was an infinity. We've got these beads here, they're cognac and. Uh, black beads, and this one's a glass bead. The round one's a glass bead. The others are not. Little glass seed beads. Nope, they're not glass. I don't, I'm not sure. And you have these beaded stations. Have metal beads on there. Yeah, they feel cool. They are glass beads. The black beads are. The black seed beads are glass. They're very cold. And it's probably 